Earlier on, there was an internet shutdown. Waiga, how did the people take that issue of shutting down the internet? What was their reaction to it? Well, Trevor, that was actually the big story here when we arrived this morning. Many residents of Uganda waking up to find uh, that their internet either was not working, uh, and for some of them it was actually pretty slow, but uh, also bearing in mind many of them were not able to access their favorite social media platforms. Of particular note, Twitter Facebook and WhatsApp as well. And that was a cause for concern for those whom we spoke with, whether just people on the streets or even uh, members of the fourth estate who use some of those platforms for their work. And this comes a couple of days after social media giant Facebook actually banned or shut down accounts of some pro-government voices and even some uh, voices within the Ministry of ICT as well. And this has raised a big question about where is the place of freedom of speech when it comes to some of these uh, big social media players. You know what happened in America with, with President Trump as well, but that's a story for another day. Nevertheless, it still is a challenge here to get uh, sort of that quick internet access. And it's one of the things that uh, one of the contestants in a Thursday's presidential election, Bobby Wine, Rob but Chagulani Sentamu is concerned about. So yesterday, the Ugandan president, who has been in power for the past 35 years, gave an instruction to all network service providers in the country to shut down access to the internet, thereby shutting down access to all social media platforms. Guys, the first question that came to my mind was, what is this man about to hide from the world? It's not a game, it's a rich thing. Hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dore Elijah and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. This is the girl with the tea. And guys, I'm not going to lie to you. This morning's tea is not palatable to me at all. Like, it's really, really a sour one. And I'm talking about this because, hey, um, most of my subscribers on this channel, they are also from Uganda. And was it not just a couple of days back that I put out a video about Nigerians migrating to Canada? And the bulk of the comments on that video spoke of people who are from other african countries just like me and you yeah and there was a particular comment that i saw and that person made mention of the fact that he or she was also from uganda and the situation was just as worse as it was here or as it is here in nigeria you know so when i saw this news yesterday trending all over all news platforms you know of questions were in my head and so i had to do my own research to find out the genesis of this particular matter and then i discovered that in just a matter of hours uganda is going to be having their 2021 election and guess what <laughs> the two persons who are the opposing candidates is the same president who has been in power for the past 35 years according to the article i read this particular president has been in power from 1986 till now and then a young person is the opposing candidate so the youth in uganda they are really really enthusiastic you know because everybody is simply tired of having the same person ruling them for years and years and years without giving any other opportunity to other people to lead you know, so now this is where the bone of contention is coming from. There were so many videos trending online yesterday of military tanks roaming around the streets and different areas of Uganda. One would wonder if they had a war to go and fight. Because guys, it was, it was really, really crazy, you know. So I kept on wondering, like, okay, what is the precedent? Of Uganda trying to hide from the world because guys here is something that everybody understands social media has become an integral part of every society around the world take it or leave it social media has come to stay gone are those days where there was no social media existent in any society whatsoever so things could happen things could be done and the world might not be even able to hear about it you know but these days because of social media maybe not everything that happens but at least people are more aware now information flies faster you know so for the president to be shutting down the internet and also shutting down social media or banning social media guys it makes people wonder 
that okay is it that this man is trying to intimidate the people of uganda to vote him back into power what will the election be will the election be credible will it be a free and fair election and guys i also followed the tweet trend um of um the opposing candidate that is this bobby wine guy and his wife was arrested yesterday i'm going to play a video shortly his wife was arrested yesterday um some of the people who are his um comrades according to how they put it over there some of his comrades were also arrested one of them was killed yesterday i mean guys it's going crazy i mean this is just the few information that we are able to get what about now that these people do not have access to the internet anymore or even have access to social media how is the world going to know what's going to be happening over there i'm going to just play out some tweets and also some videos for you guys to watch and then i'll come back and talk more about them Hey! Hey! Guys, this is completely unbelievable. Now, some of the questions I have are this. If there is no ulterior motive attached to all these moves, you know, carried out by the president yesterday, why did he shut down the internet? Why did he ban the citizens of Uganda from having access to social media? Why is he parading military tanks all around different cities, different streets, different areas, different regions of Uganda? Why is he arresting? the comrades of his opposing candidate. Why is the wife of the opposing candidate arrested? Why was she harassed that way? I mean, what is this show of authority? Was it, no, no, not even authority, but power. Yeah, author, no, cannot ca classify that as authority. I mean, this is a stark show of power of, hey, I am the one in charge here. Uh, nobody else can say otherwise. I can do whatever I want to do and get away with it. I mean, guys, what is wrong with what is wrong with Africa? What is wrong with Africa? Guys, I don't know. It seems like there's a there's a fundamental problem here. It seems like we are using our own hands to drag ourselves downwards again, down the history of slavery. This time around to practice it on our own selves, on one another. Guys, it is so pathetic. And then the world out there, they're going to be watching Africans and then they're going to be laughing at us anyways. Because we'll look at them, they're power drunk. When we colonized them, they were clamoring for freedom, for liberty, and now they have it. Now they are their own slave masters. Because guys, this is completely what it is. This is what it is. Journalists, reporters, are being denied visas to get into Uganda so that they will not cover the news, they will not cover the, the, the election, they will not cover the events of the election or whatever is going to be happening over there. And guys, let me tell you what's going to happen. As long as this situation is going to remain the same in Uganda till after the election, guys, trust me, in a space of three, four, five days, a lot of impunity is going to happen. It's a fact. A lot of impunity, which has already started happening in that country. It's going to happen. It's going to get worse. I am not a harbinger of bad news. But this is what happens when a president decides to be, should I say, authoritarian? Yes. Guys, it's, it's going to happen and the world will not know about it. And even if the world knows about it, questions are going to come out like, oh, where is your proof? Where is your evidence? It wasn't just the military tankers that were driving around the, the country yesterday. There were also military drones flying in the air. Guys, it is crazy. That is why when Nigeria was trying to bring up that so-called social media bill, a lot of people were kicking against it because it's going to be something similar to what is going on in Uganda. People will not have the right to actually share information anymore or even express themselves on social media for the world to witness. Of course, we understand, oh, there might be a reason for the president to have done what he's, what, what he's done. 
probably trying to curtail wrong information or false information. But then, <laughs> all his actions in the last 24 hours, it just simply goes to show that there is more to this than meets the eye. Because if he is, if, if he is going to show the world that there's going to be a free and fair election, why are the opponent's people being harassed? Is Uganda an authoritarian state? Or is it a military zone? I don't understand. Anyways, guys, I'm, I'm going to throw these questions to those of you who are following the news, for those of you who are aware that what you think about the president's move, shutting down the internet, banning access to social media. Guys, do you think he did the right thing? Do you think that this is the best way to go about it, to control information that the world is aware of about the country of Uganda? Guys, let me know your thoughts and your opinion in the comment section below, guys, because trust me, for me, this is completely ridiculous completely ridiculous i do not agree with it so if you agree with it or you kick against it guys as i said go ahead in the comment section and let me know about it let's talk about this guys this is not um an issue to overlook this is not an issue to ignore because um human beings are involved here human beings are involved here and trust me there's going to be a lot of human rights violation that's going to happen in the next couple of days that the world would not be aware of so guys um, i'm looking forward to your comments in the comment section below um, that said this is all for this special episode of frankly speaking with glory i will see you guys in another video also update you guys of happenings in uganda and this one goes out to all my subscribers that are based in uganda or in every other part of the world guys hang in there and please stay safe